Hello, this is Evan Iwano with 44.com Impressions Magazine. Today I have the pleasure of having with me Michelle Etwaru, a photographer based in Brooklyn, New York. In your own words, maybe you can give us a little bit of uh, your background. I am a New York City-based nonprofit professional, and in my role, I'm also a portrait photographer. Basically, while in college, I wanted to, um, I had to take a full-time schedule, even though I was like at the end. As I walk to this um, class every day, I'm looking at, you know, the art from all the students. What do I want to do with my free time? Let me take some photography classes. I was so excited. I mean, that class changed my life. So at this moment in 2015, I'm actually a fine art portrait photographer. What are your thoughts and, and how has the technology impacted, you know, how you do your work? Or do you really feel that maybe the tools have changed, but the work is the same? The tools have changed. The platforms have changed. But okay. I still, like, um, carry that same torch that for each picture there needs to be a story. Taking those pictures, editing them. Not necessarily in a dark room, but digitally. <laughs> same sure, same setup, because sure. I used Lightroom, yes. and we had a Lightroom okay. in, in even back then. And I will put it on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Flickr. I put it on all my social media so that it's, it's different audiences. Do you ever find a venue or an opportunity whereby you're able to kind of give a little guidance to some less experienced or aspiring young photographers? Is, is that something that you, you come across sometimes? If someone comes to me with anything, because I am, you know, an expert with social media, that's right. what I do for nonprofits, and again, uh-huh. it ties into what I do personally, right? Sure. So if someone comes to me with either social media or design or photography question. Or just say, what do you think of this? Because, I mean, I do have followers that will ask me on Twitter as well. I'll just ask the open-ended question. How have you found social media to be, as a, you know, in terms of its effectiveness as a tool and getting your name out there as well, in terms of being able to grow your business as well? I use social media with the photography because the nature of photography has changed. Everything is, like, digital now. I mean, sure. I encourage my clients to print print and as a matter of fact that's how my that's how my pricing works you have to get a print it's pretty interesting because um a lot of the social networks including pinterest now they want you to um pay to promote your your stuff and i right. i can't i can't really do that with somebody that came to me for an intimate wedding because that's not you know Understood. i mean that so i mean i use it and it helps push my name out and the work out there but i kind of it's like almost to the point where the social networks want to exploit the users what is it about print or what, what why is it that you you um you feel that that's an appropriate way to approach it i go to my clients homes and i don't see any of my work so i realized one day i didn't want my images to live on a cell phone or an ipad or Good for you. a computer that could right 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 crash or be stolen a la carte pricing system and I, that's the that's the main skeleton of how it works I also have a package system where you buy prints and for every print that you buy you will get the matching digital file do you find that kind of the environment you're in affects sort of your approach to photography or, or is it just different opportunities for telling different stories is that ultimately what it ends up I think it is a lot of different opportunities to tell different stories because I mean like okay. I mean every photographer every well most photographers I can't speak for we're all in these forums these groups and we all have the same problems no matter where we are the suburbs okay um, got it the middle of Hicksville the middle of sure. nowhere we all have the same problems what are your thoughts as a small business person on economics how are you finding things with respect to your work and, and the economy and, uh, as a whole I haven't really found it to be good or bad because I did okay change my pricing structure so I haven't like mm-hmm. hit like a down like a down spot but the thing about okay. it is what keeps me motivated if there were like I've realized that I can't wait on someone to pay me for shoot you need to increase your value and possibly think about take to heart what that person said why they won't hire you and make some changes and market to a different client my next question for you was any advice for other aspiring photographers out there and, and you preempted me I think you, you gave you gave a bunch of great advice right now 
Yeah, yeah. Um, trust me, it took a long time to, to get there. Wow. First thing is practice, practice, practice. Don't stop practicing. Okay. Shoot for free as long as you can. And when you start to see okay. your work, when you start to see people really taking notice, then start to introduce, you know, pricing. Because there's nothing where, I mean, there's so many blogs and, <laughs> like, you're not right. a photographer. <laughs> that is a, that's a funny <laughs> one where you have people actually pricing work of the craziest things. I mean, like, it looks like sci-fi experiments. And I'm like, Amazing. this is this is not how it should be. So, I mean, just practice, <laughs> practice, practice. And while you're practicing, there's free education out there. There's, um, there's YouTube. There's a lot of great sure. channels. Adorama is one of them. Learn, P H L E A R N. Those are like I watch wow. these things religiously every night. Amazing. Creative Live is another great free platform that you can watch and learn not just photography, but you know how to build that business, how to market that business, how to incorporate consultants. I mean, there's so many things that you can do. Read blogs, join forums on Facebook. And those are the things you need to do. You can't sit on your high horse. You need to get critique. You need to have criticism, sure. constructive criticism. It's great to have a mentor. Um, I'm interested in um, mentoring some, some folks, so they can always reach out to me, michellesvaru.com. Great. Well, Michelle, we want to thank you for taking out all this time to speak with us today. We really, really appreciate it. A lot of great advice. It's really um, a pleasure to do business with you guys. 